thank you for for looking at the stars. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm Michelle Ving from LookToTheStars.org. I'm here with Shane's dad, actually. This is Scott Williams. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, I actually want to give our viewers a little bit of information about why Shane's inspiration um, started. Well, we founded this in 1997 with the birth of my son, Shane. He was born with a rare uh, muscular disorder called spinal muscular atrophy. Um, in his short life, what we realized was that had he lived, he'd been in, in a wheelchair and there would have been no local playground where he could have played. So, unfortunately, he passed away after two weeks. What we decided to do um, after a period of time of mourning was to build a park in Griffith Park in his memory. Uh, and we came up with the idea to build Shane's Inspiration. It was inspired by a, par a similar park in Connecticut. Um, we lobbied uh, city council, they donated the land in Griffith Park, they, uh, we raised over a million dollars within two years, we had a real groundswell of support from the community, and we managed to build the first uh, universally dis uh, accessible park in Los Angeles called Shane's Inspiration in Griffith Park. Unlike other parks prior to this that had a ramp, a uh, uh, Americans with Disabilities Act subsidized ramp to the play structures where kids couldn't play. This is an actual playground where kids with disabilities can play side by side with able-bodied peers. So that was very important to us. We really only set out to build the one park, but it's grown and enough people want them in their communities that we now have 20 after 12 years and way many more in development. There's 60 or 70 some in development right now. I played in the NBA for about 11 years and uh, every year we did something with um, like children hospitals, we did things to uh, help inner city children. And uh, like I said, I've been around children practically all my life. So, uh, and, and it's, like I said, it's, I think it's very important that we do get out there because they are the future and are our future. And so uh, uh, the best way we can do is guide them in the best direction as possible. I do all my painting with the tires of my wheelchair. I don't use any brushes at all. I put paint on the tires of the chair and roll over masonite boards and do the paintings that way. I had a mountain bike accident 24 years ago. So when I first injured myself, I wasn't doing any art for quite a while. And then I started painting with the tires of my chair, mainly out of the love for my first service dog. I knew after he passed away, I wanted something on the wall other than a photograph of he and I. So I decided I would roll through paint one day, have the dog walk through paint, so I'd see tire tracks and paw prints alongside each other. That's how I started painting with the wheelchair. When I told him I was doing a special painting for charity, for Shane's inspiration, for Canine Companions, two organizations that we were going to raise the money for off of that painting in particular. Each one of the guys said yes, from Joe Walsh to Ringo to, to uh, Doug Figer from the NAC. I mean, 16 big name rock stars all said yes right away. What other charity and philanthropy are you involved in? Uh, well, Shane's Inspiration is, is one of my favorite ones. Um, it's so, I mean, as many as I can be involved in. There's the American Heart Association, um, the Cancer Association, uh, just uh, uh, so so many. I have a daughter with autism, so I mean, I, I know what 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 it's like to have someone in, in the family who has a special kind of a condition. I'm very involved with a few autism groups. One of them is Autism Speaks, which is, has become like an umbrella organization for a few of the autism groups that that uh, tend, emerged over the past few years. Those of us who, who, who are somewhat in the public eye, if, if it helps at all our presence to help a worthwhile cause, it's really very, you know, it's a small sacrifice. That we